Morning routines, morning routines, morning routines. If you're on the internet, if you're on social media as much as I am, all I see everywhere from every coach in the world is morning routines. You've got to get up and vision. You've got to write in your journal. You've got to stretch. You've got to meditate. You've got to do vocal exercises. You got to pray. You got to check your email. You got to do all these different things. First thing in the morning, by golly, jump out of bed and get it done. Um, now, I haven't even included things like ice baths, ice showers, um, immediate cardio, immediate strength training. I mean, there are so many morning routines. I don't understand how any of these people get anything done before two o'clock in the morning. Well, recently, Craig Ballantyne gets credit for absolutely changing my morning routine for the better. And here's what he says. Don't do stretching, don't do meditation, don't do any of that stuff first thing, no. Get to work immediately on the number one thing that's going to move your business or life forward in a meaningful way. So what's that one thing that you've been meaning to work on? Writing a book, creating a webinar, uh, creating a listing presentation for clients, if you're a realtor maybe. What is that one thing that's gonna move your business or your life forward in a meaningful way? Get up, get to it right off the bat. Do 30 minutes at first, that's what I did, 30 minutes at first, but then stretch it a little bit. Right now, I do 60 to 90 minutes First thing in the morning, I get up at 5.45 and I hit it. One cup of coffee and I hit it right off the bat. No working out, no nothing. And it seems a little bit counter to all of these morning routines I've learned about. And I do believe every morning routine has got to be customized to what works for you. Because each of us is so individual. But for me, this has been a game changer. I finished the first run of copy editing for my book in a few few days. It would have been taking me weeks to try to accomplish. So I can't tell you how much this has had a huge impact in my life. So try it. What's the one thing you're working on that you can knock out first thing in the day? And here's the awesome side benefit. When it's around seven o'clock, 7.30, I get to relax and have breakfast. I get to enjoy my workout. I get to move on and ride Zarco with no no feelings of uh, you know uh, guilt or or judgment for myself. No, I get to relax because you know what? By seven seven thirty in the morning, I've accomplished more than I used to accomplish all day. So try it. It's a little different approach, but I'm telling you, it's been a game changer. For me then you move into the day with energy and purpose and the other side effect is that working on the one most important thing for me at the beginning of each day has really helped me fine-tune my focus on what should be the one right first thing and I carry that momentum and I carry that focus throughout the rest of my day I'm telling you I'm unstoppable and I want you to be too so try that if it doesn't work, try something new, but give it a good shot. But then experiment, find your routine, find what drives you and find the, the mode that works the best for you because we're all so unique. But don't give up until you find a way to start the day that absolutely lights you up. Be well, my friends, live an inspired life.